Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, I think there will be additional value opening up later this week based on injuries. But even right now, we've got some good value plays in the board, starting up with Noah Fant, who is $5,800 in the high scoring game against Atlanta. Fant in the games he has played with Drew Locke this year has a 20% target share, and you don't get that very often at tight end. So I think that bodes well for Fant in this situation. I also like Marquise Brown in a bounce back spot this week at $5,900. Didn't come through last week against the Steelers, but now gets to play indoors. And the squeaky wheel narrative is in play here because Brown did complain about his workload after that past games. So maybe they want to give him additional targets this week to try to pacify uh, those complaints there. I also like David Montgomery at $5,900. That's a really good salary for a guy who's been working like a bell cow for over a month now. In the five games with no Tariq Cohen, Montgomery has 14.8 carries and 5.8 targets per game. No, they're not going to be efficient carries, but uh, he's facing a Titans team that does rank 21st in success rate allowed to opposing running backs. So we should at least get more efficient volume than usual out of David Montgomery. I'd also consider guys like Justin Jackson and J.K. Dobbins' as value plays, but my favorite of that group is going to be David Montgomery at $5,900.